Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Henry, and you are watching on the Royal Hive, the channel where we celebrate the births and lives of historic royal figures from around the world and across time. If you like this kind of content, please consider liking and subscribing for more. If you would like me to do a deep dive on one of your favorite royals, leave a comment down below. For those who have subscribed before, thank you and welcome back. If you are celebrating your birthday today, or if you know someone who is, I wish you and them a very wonderful day. We have three historic royal birthdays to celebrate, our first celebrant being Eric XIV, King of Sweden, who was born today in 1533 to parents Gustav I of Sweden and Catherine of saxe lauenburg Eric was intelligent, was skilled as an artist and was politically ambitious. He showed signs of mental instability early on in his reign, the condition eventually leading to his insanity. He was deposed by his brother, John III of Sweden, on January 26, 1569. He married Karen Mann's daughter, the union producing two children that survived into adulthood. He died in captivity of alleged arsenic poisoning on February 26, 1577, aged 43. Our second celebrant for today is Henry IV of France who was born today in 1553 to parents Jean III of Navarre and Antoine of Navarre. He was King of Navarre, as Henry III, from 1572 and King of France, as Henry IV, from 1589, until his death. He was known as Good King Henry or Henry the Great. He was the first King of France from the House of Bourbon, succeeding on the death of the last Valois King, Henry III of France. He was raised as a Protestant by his mother in the Kingdom of Navarre but converted to Catholicism for years after ascending the throne of France. He married twice. His first marriage was to Margaret of Valois, a political match aimed at bringing peace amongst the Catholics and Protestants. On the eve of the Feast of Bartholomew the Apostle, a few days after their marriage, the St. Bartholomew's Day Massacre occurred, a massacre of Protestants by Catholics. The union between Henry and Margaret was an unhappy one, remained childless and was annulled in 1599. H.S. second marriage was to Marie de Medici, this union producing five children, including Henrietta Maria of England. He was assassinated on May 14, 1610 at the age of 56. Henry will feature on my new playlist called Prominent Royal Births. Our third and final birthday celebrant for today is the Yongjing Emperor was born today in 1678 to parents the Kangxi Emperor and Empress Xiaogongren. He was the fourth emperor of the Qing dynasty, and the third Qing emperor to rule over China proper. He was a hard-working ruler, aiming to create an effective government at little expense. Though his reign was short in comparison to his father and his son, his rule saw an era of peace and prosperity. He had two empresses and numerous concubines, sharing five children among them. He died at the age of 56 on October 8, 1735. The Yongjing Emperor has brought us to the end of the video for today. I hope you enjoyed the content and my telling of it and, if you did, like and subscribe for more. See you in the next one.